In this video, I'm going to show you how to automate your business using System.io. So you have two main features. The first one, there are automation rules, and then you have the workflow. So let's go with the automation rules. So it's the, the simplest feature we have to automate your business. So here you can um, filter out the automation rules to find the one that you're looking for. For example, you know, I want to find the automation rule that uh, where a tag is added and that this it's this tag okay so that's the, the trigger actually so when where a tag is added and that's the only tag that I have and so that's the automation rule I created inside of the sales funnel that uh, shows up here okay so that's pretty easy to use so to add a rule, I'm going to click on this button. I can choose a trigger. So a trigger is an event that's going to happen. It can be when a tag is added, when a tag is removed, when a form is, subs is subscribed. So that can be uh, an opt-in form, a pop-up form, a squeeze page. It can be when an email campaign is completed. It can be when someone registered to a webinar, it can be when someone enrolled to a course or when someone enrolled to a course bundle. So we got access to several courses or it can be when a new sale happened. Okay, so let's try to use this new sale. So I'm going to choose. Yeah this one that's the payment page i created inside of the sales funnel uh, to, to sell products so when a new sale happen on this particular page i'm going to be able to create some some actions but so again this is a specific case because as i showed you it's better to use resources okay and actually i don't think that i can use some actions because it's going to tell me that I should use resources instead. So they are automation right into a page, but only for payment page, because they're going to be rolled out uh, if the, the customer asks for a refund or in the case of a paid subscription, when the customer stops, uh, stops his uh, subscription. So let's say that, you know, I just want to subscribe to a campaign. For example, I have an email campaign that I want to send to the, 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 the the, the customers of this product and I'm, I'm gonna click here on save rule and that's it okay and I, I can choose actually different actions for the same trigger so I could click again and you know uh, maybe send an email so this one is gonna be an email sent to the contact but I can also so I can remove it I can I can also send an email to a specific address so that's useful for example if you want to notify someone on your team that a sale was made okay so that's it for the automation rules now let's have a look at the workflow so that's a new feature it's quite awesome you're gonna see so we're still adding new features to it but it's gonna be pretty amazing so the idea is that instead of having uh, a very simple automation rule you can create entire workflows to automate your business and how your contact are managed inside your business so I'm gonna go with I'm gonna create a trigger so it can be for example when a form is subscribed so let's say when when a sale is made so I'm gonna choose again this payment page and here I can do different things so I can for example you know uh, add a delay so I'm gonna wait for let's say I'm gonna wait for one day okay and now what I want to do is maybe add a, a decision so what it means is that So for example, let's say that I created another tag for my customers. So let's say that here, okay, I'm gonna change it. I'm gonna say that it's when someone opt-ins, okay, when a form is subscribed, so that's gonna be my, my 
opt-in form, you know, on my blog, okay? And what I wanna do is that maybe I'm gonna actually subscribe the contacts to a campaign, okay? And in this email campaigns, I'm gonna sell them onto a product. I'm gonna make them an offer. And when they purchase the offer, I'm gonna tag them with a tag that's like customer. So maybe I can wait for one day. And if the person is tagged with the, um, with the, with the product customer tag, then it means that they purchased the product and maybe I, I want to uh, remove them from the email campaign, you know? So let's say that, so I'm gonna go back here. I'm gonna add a new tag, you know, to ma make it more concrete. So like product A, customer, okay back to workflows edit it so here I'm gonna be like okay so um, inside of this email campaign I sent him an email so I'm gonna be I'm gonna wait for maybe you know like maybe actually like for five days or one day okay one day and then I'm gonna check if the person is tagged with this product a customer tag so maybe I want to remove him from the campaign, okay? If not, then I'm gonna, uh, I'm gonna keep going, okay? So you see that you can create entire workflows. It's really cool. We're still adding some features. Um, something that is really nice that I didn't mention inside of the automation rules is that you have actually you can call webhooks. So let's say that some a new cell was made. So webhooks, it's kind of uh, uh, it's a bit it's a little bit technical, but it's very powerful. So that's the ability to actually uh, send um, an ad HTTP request to another application. So basically, it's going to allow you to communicate with another application and. Uh, a very famous application is Zapier. So you can actually send a web webhook to Zapier and then you can use this information to um, integrate through Zapier to another application. So maybe for example, you know, you made a cell, uh, you want to send a webhook uh, to Zapier and then you're gonna um, configure Zapier to uh, maybe trigger some action in a different application it can be a, a CRM app can be you know uh, maybe you can connect with Twilio and you can send automa automatically a text message to this customer right after his purchase you can use the workflows to maybe wait for uh, one day then again uh, call a webhook or through Zapier um, to, to, to send a text message using Twilio again so the the possibilities are absolutely infinite uh we're still working on the zapier integration it's going to come in the next few days so by the time you watch this video it should be fully available uh it's already working but it's private my team is working on it so don't hesitate to come back to the uh, facebook group to uh, check out the the updates and ask questions and again Remember that you have our support team to answer all your questions. Uh, usually we answer seven days a week through this uh, chat button here, or you can go to the Facebook group and ask your questions. So that's it guys for the automation part. Uh, see you in the next video.